Hello everybody, welcome back, youtube.com slash gigalad for another Let's Install. Today, Persona 4 Golden JRPG recently added to the Xbox Game Pass service. In the middle of last year, June, uh, it was the 25th anniversary of Persona 4, originally released for the PlayStation Vita. Um, but it is now, as I said, recently released and included into the Xbox Game Pass service. If you yourself are a subscriber to the Xbox Game Pass, you can check out Persona 4 Golden at no additional cost, but it will be the bandwidth of 10.67 gigabytes. Now, myself, I'm not a huge Persona fan. However, Bully and uh, Unky Dunky, I believe they've both gone hands-on with Persona 4 Golden. Speaking of Bully, here he is online. Great timing, mate. Beautiful, you nailed that one. Uh, but if you come by the channel tonight at 8pm on uh, Geek Aloud for our live uh, weekly video game podcast, The Gaming Enforcement Agency, it's myself, Bully, Unky Dunky. We sit down and discuss the uh, games we've gone hands-on with this week. We give you our full hands-on impressions. We've got the video rolling as well, so you can see exactly what we're talking about as we talk about it. And then, of course, we cover the news of the week but then we get to everybody's favorite segment it's the standoff it's where we put the best of video gaming up against the other best of video gaming and we pick a winner we'll have to check in with unky dunky tonight to see what he's got for us on the list he always picks good ones though so you can be sure you'll be in for a good time if you swing by tonight right here on geek Loud, 8 p.m as i said for the gaming enforcement agency if you can't make that work though it's okay we've got you covered as an audio podcast available everywhere audio podcasts are available search up the gaming enforcement agency you'll find us and you can partake that way but for now let's install persona 4 golden right here youtube.com slash giggle out
getting exciting now installed persona 4 golden onto an xbox series x recently added to the xbox game pass service check it out yourself about 10 gigs uh to download if you're already a member and get your uh daily quests done while you're at it i gotta say the microsoft rewards program you're not automatically enrolled you must manually enroll but seriously do it because month after month i don't pay for to be a member of xbox Game Pass Ultimate Edition, I can earn enough through the daily, weekly, and monthly rewards to just use the reward points to cash them in for another month's subscription. Seriously, it's a great deal. If you're not on top of that, you really should be because you can be gaming, you know, you can expand your gaming library by, gosh, I don't even know how many titles in Game Pass. I'm going to guess 100. How about that for a ballpark? Expand your gaming library by 100 titles and don't pay for it, you know, pay for it with your time instead of your money. It's a great service. You should definitely check it out. But what we're doing here today on this install is, of course, checking out uh, the gaming options we have here in the menu, and then we'll bounce out and get the particulars, full install size, and a version of it. That's coming right up. Now, in the audio department, seems pretty basic. Voice line, voice, I'm not seeing. Sometimes you'll see subtitles there, but not on this game. Confirm, auto text, off, da da da. Nothing there we need to change. Is there more options down? There is. Network function. Ah, subtitles. That's what I'm looking for. I always turn off the subtitles. I'm so easily distracted. Flashing up text is going to kill me. Ah, uh, that's that. All right, and controller. Standard sort of fare there. Not seeing anything I'd recommend changing. Skip event, backlog, move. No, okay, so that's it. Uh, the only one I'd recommend changing is turning off the subtitles, but you to you. If uh, if you love subtitles, by all means, leave them on. All right, let's bounce on out now to the dashboard, pull up the particulars for Persona 4 Golden. What if I hit the wrong button again? That can happen. Uh, what I really meant to do was hit this one, go home, hit the options button, manage game and add-ons, and I can tell you currently Persona 4 Golden onto an Xbox Series X is version... Yeah, it is that way. <laughs> version 1.0.2.0, and that comes in at a full and complete install size of 10.7 gigabytes. Thank you very much for watching another Let's Install right here on Geek Aloud. Hopefully you can swing by tonight and check out the Gaming Enforcement Agency at 8pm. What else can you do with the channel? Like it, subscribe it, you'll never miss it. Stop it.